Hello everyone, we hope you're well. Now today, we're gonna to cook a pork joint, look. Now you can see the joint, can you see the size of it, look? It costs five pound 21, weighs 1.374 kilos. Now this was from Lidl. Um, we're hoping the shape is gonna be okay to put on the rotisserie. I'm a bit doubtful about the way it's been tied up, so First job's first, I'm going to cut the bag open and go and have a look and see what it's like. But as I say, if I can sort this out, we want it on the rotisserie. Mate, it's for our Sunday roast, isn't it? We think it'd be really nice, so we're going to give it a go. Right, I'll bring you back when I've made a bit of progress. Right, now I've brought you back. We're going to get this on now. I'm sure everybody knows, I keep explaining, we press that button in the front there, let go, all the eights come up. Don't need my pen now. Now that's clear now, there's nothing in there. Press cost. It starts to flash. Press function. 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 We want 30 pence in there, because that's our current rate. That's now set. Right, let's get this plugged in. Right, I think you can actually just see that, you can. Now, let's get this oven warmed up. We're gonna do it 205, 20 minutes. I'll just switch it on. Oh, we've got preheat, haven't we, of course. So what I will do is I will set it. We want the rotisserie going on. We're going to do it on roast. 195. I think we'll leave it at that. But what we will do is increase it to 60 minutes. Preheat. Make sure there's nothing inside. I always say that, but we have two as well. There's two of us. You just never know. Put foil on the bottom tray that you can see. Right, that's just warming up now, so um, I'll bring you back when it's warmed up. Right, I've brought you back because it's just beat three times and said add food. Now that's been on, well, it's just about coming up to five minutes, which is about what we usually do. And it's cost, it says three pence there, so. Let's get this open and get this lifted in. I know you're out of shot with this part, but you can't do much about that. Right. Let's get this lifted in, which is always a bit... Uh, I mean, obviously you season this to whatever you like. So we'll just pop that in. As you can see, that's going round, look. That's causing no problem. It's not obstructing. Let's just hope that Graham's rubbish knots hold out while it's spinning round. But uh, let's get this shut before we lose any more heat. Right, now we've got that on for an hour now. And what I'll do, I'll just bring you back every now and again, let you see how it's getting on. And you do know that we've had three minutes, or well, it's cost 3p for five minutes warming up. Right. Bring it back in a while. Right, now I've just brought you back because we've got 30 minutes left there, so we're halfway through that hour. Now I'm not saying it's going to cook in that hour, that's not the game we're playing. We've got, we're all temperature, so when it reaches the correct temperature, it will be cooked. But we've got an hour for a start. You can see it going round there. I've put the light on for you. I keep putting the light on because. Strangely, I've sat here on a chair for half an hour watching this go round. Wendy wants jobs doing that, but it's so interesting, I can't take my eyes off it. No, not really. It does look pretty good though. At the minute, we've used 22 pence of electric, and we're halfway. Should end up with about 42 pence. Oh, the light's gone out. I've got to put it back on, so I'm not going anywhere. Anyway, <clears throat> we thought we'd show you that. I'll bring you back. 
Right, I brought you back because the beeps have gone. You can see it says end. We can't put the light on, can we? I thought we could. There we go, we can. Let's have a look at it. Can you see that going round? My favourite view. Look at that, it is actually turning at the moment. Right, let's turn this off. I don't know whether this is going to be done. It's had its hour, so we're going to get it out now and check the temperature. Right. Don't take it out. Don't take it out. I thought you could check it on. Well, the I can. It's, it's just easier to get out. Yeah, oh, yeah, all right. But it's okay, yeah, if it has to... If it has yeah. to go back, it would probably yeah. be harder, wouldn't it? What do you think? Right, as Wendy just pointed out, we probably should check it where it is. I'll get my little um, thermometer out. Let's have a look where we are. And if you've got any so, doubt, you come. can point out can't you any doubt get it out oh <laughs> right now turn the filming off then let's just um get that on porky pig look mm. now it wants to be 77 degrees but that to me is an absolute minimum i want it hotter than that but let's um <laughs> we've all seen this before come on let's get the probe shoved in and see what we get now it looks cooked but Mm. That's gone in a decent amount. Let's see how we go. No, to me, that's on 64, then 63. Mm. Let's try again. Let's try in there. I'm sticking it a fair way in the meat, which I think is only right. Look, 68. Right. Now, that needs a little longer. If it looks cooked, we'd be happy, but no. It's not right. So, switch it back on. 205, 20 minutes. I think what we'll do, I'll make that another 10 minutes and we'll give it another go. I think we're not going to be far off at that. So let's start it up. It's gone on to preheat, which we don't want. It's already warm. Let's switch the light on. Now, I'll grant you that looks cooked. And I think a lot of people would be happy, but not us, look. We want that to be well cooked. So, um, I don't know whether you can actually see the meter. I think it's going to be a bit small for you, but it's actually, we're on 37 pence at the moment. I could probably try and blow that up for you, but anyway, we'll get an end result. But it's cost 37 pence so far. It's not the cheapest way in the world to cook this, but uh, we're hoping it's going to be really nice. But we're certainly going to give it that other 10 minutes, and then I'll bring you back. Right, we've already tried this, and it wasn't done. So now we're going to try it again. Now there's our thermometer. And what we want to do, I've pressed the wrong button already. Right. We need, we need him on pig, 77. So that's set now. Let's try this. It has ended and beeped. Oh, that looks, that looks really well done there. But we won't know till we put this in it. Let's see how we go, look. Let's see how we go. That's, that's measuring 71 there. Still not quite there. I've perhaps not got it in right. Ah. That could be a bit of pilot error. Let's try it oh, just there. Ah. Oh, yes, look. Ooh, it's only just on the temperature 77, but that's good enough. Let's turn this round a bit and try somewhere else. Try and get it on the thicker part there. Let's see how that goes. Oh. <laughs> you can see, look has dropped straight away but it did reach 80 let me get that ah. there look that's fine we'll go for that now because it needs to rest and we're getting impatient now let's get this thermometer turned off right now get the lifter and we'll lift it out onto a plate it's disappeared oh there it is 
Or do you want it on there? Yeah. I was going to put it on a plate, mate. There's no need, is it? Look, got the proper thing here. Let's lift this out. It comes out easy. Look at that. That's come out easy. Look at that. I hope we're in the light enough to see that. That looks fantastic. Look, bit of crackling on the top, but we don't usually eat that. Now, I'll bring you back when you can have a better look. Right, now we've got that meat out. Now we'll just put the roast veg in. I think we want to be let's go on level three we don't want to be too high for a start we're going to turn this up a little now um, we're on air fry we're going to put it on oh, i think 20 is a bit high let's try 210 why not eh and let's give it 20 minutes just so we've got plenty of time we can just keep an eye on it we're not going to walk off forget it and come back are we uh, it's gone on preheat. We'll jump that section at the moment. Let's just put the light on, make sure everything's okay. I will be taking them out soon, the Yorkshire's, because the box, when, when it's melted and hot, right. the in. All we're doing at this stage, in those little cases, we've just got the uh, lard in there. So what we're going to do, this is just a case of warming that lard up. Lord. And then we'll put the Yorkshire puddings in. Now, I've not told you, but let's have a look. That's cost 43 pence so far. It's just gone on to 44 pence. So uh, just to keep you uh, in track there, because I should really have unplugged that, because we're only actually measuring the cost of the meat. But I know it's 44 pence. We'll leave it at that. And I'll uh, bring you back in a few minutes. Right, now there's our joint if I don't stand in the light I can actually it's been out a minute or two so we can actually turn this now let's uh, give you a look and I shall remove the bar in a bit because the juice is running out look at that I think that's made a good job of that and we're happy with that it's at the right temperature so I'll cover it up now and uh, let it rest and bring you back Right, this is just a, a short bit of video we're trying to show you here. This is the mashed potato for our dinner. And what we've done, we've put dried onions with it. Now let's show you these dried onions. Look, we bought them and we've been out and had this. It's fantastic. So we're going for it. Right, just a, a, quick, a quick video there, just showing you. It's amazing how good this tastes. Well, there's just a little uh, clip of video. Look, you can see we've got the uh, Yorkshire puddings in there now. Everything seems to be cooking pretty good at the minute. Obviously not ready. We'll give them a bit longer, but just a quick clip there. Right, let's cook some of this meat. Hello Philip, how are you mate? Now you can see now what that's like look. It wasn't the best piece of meat in the world, but it cooked it fine. see that I've got the string cord who's got the string yeah all of us oh right <laughs> that's that me if you've enjoyed the video please like and subscribe I mean I've showed you how it's cooked I'm sure you can actually see that's fine yeah what about your electricity right <laughs> it cost 44 pence because I remember but we're on 60 pence now but that's a little unfair because We've done all that vegetables uh, and we've done the Yorkshire puddings, everything's ready. I'll get this on a plate and we'll show you. Right, 
I brought you back because that's our dinner in the end. That's what it looks like. Wendy's just going to tip some gravy on now. I mean, you can see how the meat's cooked at the back, but it seemed all right. We've had a little nibble each while we were getting ready and it seemed pretty good. So if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and share. And uh, look, let's give you an overhead shot there. Look, that's all right for a Sunday dinner, ain't it? This is going to be lovely. Mm. Anyway, I thought that was mine. Oh, she's nicked one already. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you soon. Bye. Right, now I've just brought you back because Wendy says I ought to mention that pork was lovely. It looked well done on the outside and when we cut through it, it was perfect. We were more than happy. It tasted great. Uh, the rotisserie, it does make a good job. That was nice and when we've had the chicken, it's been lovely. So we're happy with that. But she says, I think you ought to mention, she says, come and have a look at the inside of this cooker, mate. We're a mess. It's took me ages to clean that out. <laughs> the, the, the fact that spat off it, we could see it running down the window and thought, this is going to be a mess. I don't know whether you can see from the video. But inside, mate, it was really hard work getting that off. Let me just show you a picture of the inside. Now I've spent ages cleaning it. Right, let's show you, look. I've spent ages cleaning this, and you can still pick fault. Mate, you can pick fault forever. That back plate, oh, what a mess, and the sides. I may have missed some, fair enough, but I've tried. I think you can see a few bits and bobs I've missed, but wow, that was a mess. It really was. Anyway, kept me busy for a bit longer. As we say, Wendy says, I think it's only fair. That you should show people you know it was a mess i know i didn't show you that really but i've spent ages cleaning that trust me so be prepared for a bit of a mess if you do it this way that's all i can say really well unless i'm doing something wrong right we're definitely going now so look after yourselves and we'll see you soon